Är det Greta där? Titta. Hej Greta. Growing up in the 90s, the world seemed like a safe and friendly place. At least to me. If the story of the 20th century is the triumph of freedom, what will the story of the 21st century be? Two days after my eighth birthday, the world turned upside down. Our war against terror is only beginning. The Iraqi regime has something to hide from the civilized world. We know they have weapons of mass destruction. The chief UN inspector, Hans Blix, arrived in Baghdad. The world wants to have assurances that there are no weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. When the world was on fire, they called Hans Blix. He's a pacifist. He's an environmentalist, and he's Swedish, like me. To me, Hans is the end of a generation that believed diplomacy could save the world. The Commission has not found evidence of weapons of mass destruction. I must not jump to the conclusion that they exist. Can I prove there is not a mouse in this room? No. We talked for weeks about war, about diplomacy, we hold peace and war in our hands. About the future. Sometimes I was asking the wrong questions. I don't start a war. Hey, Hans. Hey. But I was desperate for the right answers. We are now so powerful that we can create our own reality. And then the world turned upside down again. Мною прийнято рішення по проведенні спеціальної воєнної операції. And everything we had been talking about became so much more relevant. The decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean of Ukraine. <laughs> Iraq. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I see this film, above all, as a protest by Greta Stocklasser against war in a world in which she is about to give birth to a child. And I am grateful and appreciate that it enables me to give expression to my thoughts and ideas about the subject of war. Ingen av dem är här, varken Greta eller heller producenten Maria Adamsson. Så jag bara ska säga något kort om den här filmen då som Anna Lindström på Lucky Dogs har tagit hit. Jag kan också rekommendera en del artikel som skrev om Hans Blix. För han är ju aktuell med en ny bok, inte det fantastiskt? Och sen så plockade jag upp den också den franska titeln till den här filmen. Det var en så vacker titel på franska. Den heter Blix, Adieu och Gare.